keeping in mind what happened with ha- what happened twice with the Hong Kong travel bubble, uh, my question is: Will the travel arrangements with Germany and Brunei be subject to last minute suspensions similarly? You know, or are they going to continue irrespective of say fluctuating COVID case numbers in either in Singapore or Germany and Brunei? Thank you. Uh, I can understand uh, your, the sentiments behind your question. However, these vaccinated travel lanes are materially different in the way they are developed compared to the air travel bubble with Hong Kong previously discussed. Because the ATB was a bilaterally negotiated uh, process to arrive at an arrangement that both sides could then sign off on and move forward. In the case of the vaccinated travel lanes, these are actually moves that we are making. It is completely within Singapore's jurisdiction and control in terms of the measures and the moves. So in the case of Germany, for example, they have already opened travel for Singaporeans to go into Germany. What we are now doing is reciprocating, as it were, in part, by introducing this vaccinated travel lane. And the measures that we are putting in place are all from Singapore. I've had a discussion with the German minister who welcomes uh, this initiative, and he thinks of it as a potential model as to how travel can resume uh, systematically and safely. Similarly with Brunei, uh, this is, we had a unilateral opening to Brunei, and now we are moving to a vaccinated travel lane with Brunei, and these are again within our control. So the short answer to your question is that uh, this is not a case where the situation might change uh, because uh, of circumstances, and therefore we pull the plug on the VTL.